Hello and welcome to this part of uh, video from libreprogramming.org and uh, in this part we will study the last operation on linked list and then we will see uh, after this how to implement uh, uh, a stack or a queue using a linked list and then we will proceed on to various interesting problems uh, common problems which we can solve using a linked list or a stack or a queue. We will also see the stack uh, uh, or queue implementation using an array. We will not only see the linked list implementation, we will also see stack implementation based on array. So let's get started with deleting a node. So I have passed a pointer to pointer to head. Why? Because if uh, the first node is to be deleted, then head pointer gets modified. So what I do is I save the head pointer in temp. That is the first thing I do. Note that I have declared two pointers here and then an integer i. So if head is null, if head is null, that means the list is empty. So we have nothing to delete. We simply return. Then we do a scan of uh, that what value of data we want to delete. Now if now note that I here write temp data is equal to is equal to i but essentially it means that temp is nothing but head pointer so the data at head that is the data at head is equal to given input then we point head to the next element because temp is nothing but head so we could have also written star head arrow next and then we free temp. Otherwise, if the first node is not the one, then we check if temp next is not equal to null. We move forward as we have moved forward in iteration. So this is our iteration statement. Now this loop will not execute for the first time because if the first node is not the one to be deleted, then it is guaranteed that this is not the one we should write a return statement here also otherwise it will go on uh, after this there should be a return statement after this after this free so that's another i just noticed okay so for the first time when the while loop will execute this if portion will not execute because it is guaranteed that the temp data will not be equal to i so it will come here. Now Q stores the value of temp and temp moves to next. So then we check if temp next is equal to null. So what this temp next is actually is, it's Q's next next. So if that is not null, it goes inside. And then it checks temp data is equal to I. That is Q next is equal to I. And if it is there, then what it does is, it points q next to temp next that is q next next so q next becomes q next next because q is nothing but temp right so but here temp is temp next so substitute for this temp temp next and for this q you substitute temp so temp next becomes temp next next and then we free temp so it is like you hold a pointer on a particular node uh, which is to be deleted and you have the previous pointers next node pointing to it and you take that pointer and move it to the next of the pointer which we, we want to delete the element which we want to delete that is the temp and then you break out of this loop simple so that's it uh, i should have actually drawn the graphics to uh, show it because it's a little bit involved but if you remember our uh, discussion on insertion between two nodes so it is kind of reverse of that see how we have taken this data one node and we move it here now what would happen is this data one is here and we want to delete x let's say for example this so we want to delete x so what you do is you take this and you point to this and this x would be stored in that temp and then you just free temp. 
so that's it okay dogs have started barking all right so <clears throat> Uh, so that's it for the deletion of node and now I will proceed to uh, make some videos on stacks and queues uh, using linked list and then we will see array based implementation and then we will solve some interesting problems using linked list stacks and queues to reinforce our concepts uh, using these data structures so and uh, in the next part I'll show you the entire code and I'll run the code and I'll show you the code and I'll also post this uh, code on uh, Kunjika. So for those who do not know Kunjika, here is Kunjika, which is my application. You can come here and ask your questions. So uh, I can answer your questions here because whenever you uh, ask a question or make a comment, I'll be notified. Thanks for watching the video. Happy programming.